This is Talking Tactics, the podcast that celebrates enrollment success one tactic at a time. The catch? The tactic had to be done with limited resources, either by a single person, a small but mighty team, limited time, or with a low budget. I'm your host, Diana Kibiltz, Strategy Director at Ology, and I'll be interviewing the most creative and resourceful folks across higher ed to break down a single tactic, from idea to results, so you can try them too. Are you ready? Let's talk tactics. Hello, friends, and welcome to Talking Tactics. Today, I'm taking you on a journey to one of my favorite corners of the internet, Reddit. My guest, Ali Abel, works in the Faculty of Law at the University of Calgary. Ali has been the Senior Manager of Marketing and Communications there for the past 10 years. As a part of a team of only one and a half, as she says, a certified professional communicator, a master in public relations, and a small business owner. She is definitely a very qualified expert in ingenuity and resourcefulness. Last year, Ali decided to really ramp up the Faculty of Law's activity on Reddit, and it worked. In this year's incoming student survey, they found out that 15% of the school's admitted students learned about the school through Reddit. Ali, welcome. Are you ready to show us how it's done? I'm so ready. Thank you for having me, Day. I can't wait to figure out how you did this. I'm sure everybody's pull out a notebook right now. Start taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Tell us about what were you trying to do reaching audiences online? For sure. So I, it should come as no surprise that applying to law school can be really stressful. Students have a lot of questions, and we try our best to provide all of the information that people need about applying to law school. On our website, we have information sessions, we have social media ads, all that fun stuff. But no matter how much information you put out there, we also know, unfortunately, that students don't always read what we provide them. And so we're always trying to find ways. They're always calling us with questions or sending us emails. So we're always trying to find ways to reduce those number of incoming calls and emails, asking questions that are answered elsewhere on our various platforms. So, you know, we can do some of this stuff through website usability testing and answering those questions on social media, which is where a lot of our students spend their time. We do an annual diversity and marketing survey of our incoming students, which you mentioned. And while a lot of the questions have changed over the years, we always have that this marketing section just so we can figure out where to best allocate our time and our, our very limited budget that we have here at the Faculty of Law. So I feel like we fit into like the four categories that you're looking for <laughs> on this podcast. Um, and then one question we ask is how people find information about the law school and if it's online, exclusively online or a mix of like online and printed materials and other social media or um, info sessions and law school fairs that are out there. And since 2019, uh, I think we've done this survey for six years now, but since 2019, the percentage of students who get their information about us in exclusively online has averaged, averaged around 68%. Yeah, so it's a pretty big number. They still come to the law fairs, but online is kind of their primary source of information. You got to meet them where they are, right? Like that's, that's the marketing foundation. Yeah, yeah. So um, when we started on Reddit, our big goal was to dispel some of the myths that people have about our law school. Um, because we're in Calgary, it's kind of like people think we're just oil and gas. We're kind of redneck country, which is totally not true anymore. Um, to answer questions that they have about applying or about our law school in general, and then provide just accurate information um, about applying to law school and reduce the number of phone calls or emails inquiries that we get. Oh, wow. That's a lot of goals. I love that. You know, one of my, th my favorite things about Reddit is that results actually do come up when you search for things. So it's kind of like having a whole extra search and then result real estate on the internet. So that's really clever. Yeah. So why Reddit? Why did you pick Reddit? 
So I attended a case social media conference in Portland back in 2019, and Campus Sonar was presenting. Our Sonarians. Love them. Yeah, we love them. They were doing a presentation about social listening, and it was kind of a new term for me to hear. But they talked about how Reddit was just like a really great tool to interact with with prospective students and admitted students and finding out their opinions about an institution. So we're the law school, so there's not like we don't have the big U Calgary subreddit that's on there. We're just kind of, you know, sneaking or not sneaking, but like peeking into the corners about what's. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, we had always been on the big three. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, but had never really delved into Reddit before. And I was never a Redditor. (laughs) Is that what we call ourselves? Yeah, that's it. That's I think that's how you say it. (laughs) So I just kind of kept it in the back of my brain that maybe this was something that we should check out. Around that same time, so there used to be an online forum for Canadian law students and people would go on and ask questions about law school and applying and, you know, like students asking students what their thoughts are about law schools. We did have an admissions person who would kind of check in once in a while and kind of dispel any myths that were on there. I didn't have any insight to it, but then that forum shut down and moved to Reddit. So I kind of thought maybe this was our opportunity to get on there, kind of be more public than we had been on the forum. It was, like I said, it was an employee under one of those made up names that you can get on these forums and just wanted to get out there and continue to dispel the myths and answer any questions that people had. Okay. So that was two little hints that were like, Hey, pay attention to Reddit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So A lot of people are very afraid of Reddit for very legitimate reasons. It's a scary place with its kind of own subculture. So walk us through how you figured out how to actually start this. I'm sure there's folks listening right now that have no idea what to do. Like, do you name your account after the school? How frequently do you post? Do you search for things? Do you comment? What did you do to implement this? Right. So all of our social channels use the handle UCalgaryLaw pretty simple. It's kind of the standard that faculties and schools have at the University of Calgary. And I went on there and I was like, oh, everyone has these weird like usernames, but I want people to know that this information is actually coming from us and it's legit. So I made a username and it's UCalgary Law. (laughs) You can go find it, listeners. Go find it. It has our logo. So you can, you know, it's like, it's the same logo that we have on all of our other social channels. So you know that it's like the same. And I just kind of did it. I didn't ask. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that's my favorite way to do things. As a as a team of one point two, it's just you just have to do it, and you have to you have to, yeah, ask for forgiveness later. I did run it by our admissions team just to say, hey, I'm going to go on there and kind of check things out and answer questions. So they knew that it was happening, but I didn't ask my boss (laughs) if I could do it. I just did it. And because, you know, I'm a small team, our admissions team is pretty small. I knew that it kind of had to fall to me to get to do it. I couldn't put any more work on the admissions team because they're pretty busy already. So I made our handle. I started poking around. There's three subreddits that we follow related to kind of law school in Canada. So there's Law Admissions Canada. There's an Law Students Canada, which I think was the old forum and then there's one more about, I can't remember what the name is, but then I also follow the U, the general like U Calgary Reddit that's out there. Um, and if I see stuff pop up, if people are asking questions about what kind of law can I study at the University of Calgary or what kind of, what are my chances of getting in? That's like the really popular, they're called chance, chance me. me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and they post their <laughs> stats and I'm like, well, so I go in and I say, you know, we're not just oil and gas law. You can also study like tech law, um, human rights, all those, all the fun things that we do here. If they're chance me posts, we do have a, a page on our website that has the stats of our first year class. And so I link them to that page and I say, you know, just for your reference, here's what last year looked like. So you can compare yourself. And, and then I say, you know, if we're coming up to admissions opening on September 1st. So I say we have an admissions info session coming up if you want to join. And then if, I, you know, sometimes I include the email address for our admissions team and just say, if you have more questions, 
reach out. So it's kind of like really not very done well lead generation because we don't know who these people really are, but it's a service. Yeah, we're gathering emails. So you you mentioned something really important. I want to make sure our listeners take note. You don't have to create your own subreddit. What you've done is you went to the subreddits where your audience already is, right? So it's these two kind of bigger law ones. And then of course, the university's main one as well. So like that's a must, right? At the beginning, start looking around and see where, which subreddits might, might overlap with your prospective students. And any post that you make in them is like guaranteed awareness for you, right? Like everybody's looking at those comments. There's more lurkers on Reddit than commenters or posters. So it's not even quantifiable how much awareness you're getting by using you Calgary law as your, as your name. So that's awesome. So I got to ask because uh, one of the th- reasons Reddit is so scary is the moderators. Have you ever run into like getting banned or blocked or did you ask the mods for permission before posting? The only time I asked for permission was on the U Calgary subreddit. And because I was posting, I don't want to call them ads because we didn't pay for them, but they're kind of ads saying, you know, we're having an info session or our LSAT summer prep course applications are opening. So they're kind of the more marketing material. So I asked them before I posted stuff like that. And I said, Hey, just want to get this information out there. Not trying to sell anyone to say like, you have to come to U Calgary law, but just want to make sure it's okay if I can post this. And they were totally fine with it. So it's, I'm not doing it all the time. (laughs) It's just kind of when those, when applications open, when kind of those key dates, or if we're having an info session that we want people to know about. In higher education, it's almost impossible to truly stand out. Ology gets it. As a branding and marketing agency that focuses on education, they understand what makes you authentic is also what makes you distinct. Ology offers award-winning creative, smart strategy, innovative thinking, and expert digital marketing. Most of all, they'll help you connect with your audiences, bring your stakeholders together, and achieve the results that matter most to you. Want to find out more about how you can build a compelling brand or campaign? Visit ology.com. That's O-L-O-G-I-E dot com. And mention that Day from Talkin' Tactics sent you their way. That's one of the kind of the most crucial things, right? Some subreddits have these kind of rules of engagement and marketing is typically not allowed. So in that case, actually, make sure you do ask for permission and not forgiveness. Yes. (laughs) So in terms of writing on there and how you communicate on there, do you find it any different than like how you would post things on your website or other channels? Not really. I, I am not a law student. I was never a law student. I'm not a lawyer. And I'm much older than many of the students that we have coming to the law school. So I just go in there and I write like I would write for anything else. Our website, yes, is a little more formal, but our social channels, I'm not trying to be like the hipster out there trying to like relate to all the 20 somethings, but I just write in a kind of informal, friendly, casual way while making sure that the the information that we're providing is correct. Yeah. Otherwise, right. If you were to copy paste from the website, then they probably still wouldn't get it. Exactly. Exactly. I send them the link. They can like click on it if they want, but who knows? (laughs) All right. So you didn't ask for permission. So you didn't have to do much convincing internally. I love that for you. I love that for us. I love that for anyone on this podcast. That's the way. That's the way especially for small teams. Just do it. (laughs) Just honestly, just do it. Right. (laughs) I'm sure though, that there, there must've been some challenges. Did you have, was there anything you had to kind of plan for anything unexpected that arose? I think the biggest challenge as a team of one is just time. So finding the time to go in on a regular basis and going through the different subreddits that we're following and just checking in to see if there are questions related to us. So 
a lot of, like I mentioned, those chance me questions. Um, it's always, I'm applying to four different schools, but if our school is not listed, I'm not going to go in and comment because they don't care. Um, you know, admissions is very cyclical. So, right, you know, we're coming up to when our admissions open on September 1st. So I'm starting in September, I'm probably going to be checking every day, maybe a few times a day to see what people are saying. The other, yeah, the other challenge that I mentioned is just trying not to be too markety <laughs> and just being more, more casual and informal about what we're saying. We did have a question come up, I think a couple of years ago, and someone said, you know, what are my chances of getting a job in Calgary if I go to U Calgary Law? And we have a stat of like our first year students and the number of summer placements they get. So I put that stat up there and I linked to the web page and then someone came back and said, well, you only have 130 students. So the stat is really misleading. And I was like, okay, not feeding the trolls here. Just you can say <laughs> what you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't engage, right? You can't, you really can't engage. That's the thing with Reddit. Okay, that's a great point. Be careful. Don't engage. Don't feed the troll machine. Exactly, exactly. So, and there seem to be so many of them on Reddit. I don't know why. (laughs) It's true. But, you know, once, because I think what's important here is your approach to this is just trying to be helpful, right? Like, be helpful. That's really the MO. It's not marketing. It's not trying to push you Calgary onto anyone. It's answering questions that are already there that no one else is addressing. And you're doing it with a super legitimate, correct voice, right? So with time being your biggest challenge, like how much time does it take you in like a week to keep up with Reddit? I probably go on... Right now, because it's summer and it's a little bit slower, I'm probably on there like once in the morning, once in the afternoon, just for 15 minutes, probably at the most. So the three law subreddits, they're pretty quick. Two of them aren't very active, but the one, there's one that's pretty active. So if I just go in quickly check the most recent posts, if someone says something about UCalgary law, I'll reply. Um, the U Calgary, again, there's not always a lot of questions about us, but just quickly scroll through. It's also quite amusing to see what people are posting on there in general. So it's a good laugh once in a while, but yeah, so it's not, you know, maybe 15 minutes, 30 minutes a day. I think just going back to challenges because you can't, the social media platform that we use, you can't post, you can't like schedule posts on Reddit. So you have to make the physical effort to go in you know, on a regular basis and, and see what's happening. Well, that's what you have to do for listening anyway. Right. So makes sense there. So now we've arrived at the moment. Everyone's been waiting for <laughs> what results did you see from this effort? For sure. So in 2020, this is going back to our survey that we do every year. So in 2020, 32% of respondents said that they used the online forum lawstudents.ca to get information about us compared to 2% for Twitter, 5% for Facebook, and 4% for Instagram. Once that forum shut down in 2022, 15% of respondents said they use Reddit to get information about us compared to 4% for Twitter, 4% for Facebook, and 10% for Instagram. So of a class of 130, you know, that's it's a significant, it's about 20 people. It's a significant number that are going on there to, to get information about us, about us from Reddit. So that's, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's, it's hard to compare from between a forum and Reddit, but that's, you know, we have to take our wins where we can get them. <laughs> but, well, and I, honestly, when you think about the effort it takes to publish content on other social media platforms versus just answering questions on Reddit for 15 minutes a day, percent of your incoming class having found you there is huge. The the ROI is huge on that. Exactly. Yeah. And it's so much easier than Instagram or Facebook. You don't need to source an image. You don't need to do like any graphic design. It's just text and adding a link, right? So <laughs> well, it's relevant because you're just answering the questions they have. You're not guessing, right? Exactly. In terms of how often we're posting, it has gone up and I have, I pulled some stats from kind of when we started in 2020. So we, in 2020, I commented or responded to questions about seven times. In 2021, I did five comments or responses and six posts or 
ads, they're not ads, but ads, about our info sessions, and we had 34 upvotes in 2021. In 2022, I made 69 comments or responses and had 15 posts and 110 upvotes. And then this year to date, we've already done 37 comments or responses, has, have had 72 upvotes, and then we've only done one post about our LSAT prep program. Oh my gosh. I love how we're quantifying this with the upvotes. We all know Reddit currency. I know you're not supposed to, you're not, you know, Instagram and Facebook, you're not supposed to count your likes, but it's the easiest one. And most people on Reddit don't like to show love. So I'm curious now, like, I want to know how many karma points do you have? Do you know? I think when I checked before we got on this call, there was like 210 or something. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it means 210 people love you. That's what okay, it means. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so you had how many comments last year that you post? In 2020, we had 69. We're already at 37 this year. And our admissions cycle hasn't even started yet. Yeah. So 69, let's, if we focus on 2022, 69 comments, you got 20 students out of that. Mm-hmm. That's incredible, right? That's kind of proof, you know, it's not just the fact that you're responding to 69 different people. It's the thousands of people that might be looking at that comment to get the same answer they had, but didn't ask or the same answer they were looking for, but didn't ask. For sure. Yeah. And you, I don't think on Reddit, you can see like how many people have viewed your post. So yeah, when you put it that way, it's actually pretty cool. Good achievement for sure. Yeah. I know that you also have gotten some great comments. Would you share some of those with us? Sure. So like I said, a lot of the questions are about chance me emails. Um, The one that I got last week, someone asked if they were a competitive candidate. And I said, hey, just check out our stats from the last year class. And I don't know if the person that responded is like someone on campus or maybe it's you day and you went in. (laughs) (laughs) But just because some of the, because they were, they talked about university ad- advancement. And if you're not in advancement, like, why would you use that term? But they, here's what they said. They said, cool to see you, Calgary has a Reddit account. Kudos to the comms personnel for seeing the potential Reddit subreddit and having university advancement. Give them raises. <laughs> so <laughs> if my boss is listening, <laughs> there you go. Give, <laughs> my definitely work give is Ali a raise. It was not me, but <laughs> every single person listening to this episode now has a homework assignment. Yeah, yeah. Go in and find us. Go in and find you Calgary Law and do the upvotes, do the karma and do the comment so that For Ali sure. gets a raise. <laughs> One of the comments we got last year, someone was asking, they were they were accepted to you Calgary Law. They were coming to Vancouver, coming from Vancouver, and they wanted to know if they come to our school, can they still get a job back in Vancouver? And I said, I replied and said, we have a great careers office that will help you get a job wherever you want to go. If you want to go back to Vancouver, we have a lot of students that go back to Vancouver. So don't worry about that. And they replied saying, that's amazing. Thank you so much for the insight. I'm very excited to be joining the UCalgary Law family come September. So I think, you know, we talk about upvotes and all that, those like hard number stats. But I think just having that feedback from people that you're kind of making them feel feel like they've made the right decision and that you're really helping them is kind of the best metric that I can <laughs> find out of Reddit. Sometimes people will ask a question and they'll send us a DM. So they move the, com- the conversation into kind of a more private area, which they're super grateful for. But I think one of the biggest, the most interesting things is that As far as I can tell, we are the only law school using our law school name in Canada on Reddit out there asking questions. So I don't want to give away our secrets to other law schools out there, but it's a huge opportunity (laughs) to get on there. That's where our students are. And then we need to go to them and make sure they're getting the correct information. That is an incredible, incredible lesson for anyone listening. Last question I'll ask you is, Do you know, do you have a sense of whether it has reduced questions over on the admissions side? Because I know that was one of your primary goals. Mm -hmm. So we still get a lot of emails in our general email inbox and then COVID hit. So the number of emails actually went up. (laughs) No (laughs) surprise. There was no one on campus to answer questions. So that's how people were contacting us. But I think 
looking at at what you know, trying to ask this question of our admissions team saying, hey, has the number of emails have gone down? Has the number of phone phone calls gone down? It's actually kind of started us thinking about a project to track the number of emails that we're getting, the types of emails, you know, if they're about admissions or if they're about, you know, what are my chances, which we can't really answer in an email, but categorizing those and then hopefully working on our website and other communications channels to make sure the information is super clear and that we can just reduce those number of emails. Oh, that's perfect. That's a great, a make, it's a make work project. <laughs> I got, you gotta love those. You gotta love those with your team of 1.2. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hallie, thank you so much for sharing this super effective tactic with us. I hope people are less afraid of Reddit now. It's not that scary once you get in there and just be honest and authentic. And I think people will appreciate it. Yeah. If folks want to reach out to you and ask you questions, where can they find you? LinkedIn's probably the best place. Just look up Ali Abel on LinkedIn in Calgary and we can connect. Awesome. Well, dearest listeners, that's the end of our episode today. I will be back in your ears with a brand new tactic in two weeks. Until then, remember, keep walking the walk and talking the tactics. Bye. Thank you all for listening to Talking Tactics. If you try what you heard today, or if you've got a tactic of your own to share, I definitely want to hear it. So find me on LinkedIn by searching for my name, Diana Kibilds. That's D-A-Y-A-N-A-K-I-B-I-L-D-S. And if you're enjoying Talking Tactics, please rate and review the show because there's nothing I love more than a good grade and positive reinforcement. Finally, If you just can't get enough of good podcasts, the Enrollified Podcast Network delivers with an amazing selection of other marketing and admissions-focused podcasts just for you. Go show them some love. See you next time.